up, y'all? It's Ty. In this video today, we're going to be talking about showdown in NBA 2K25, my team, and whether it is worth your time to play showdown or not. Now, season one, I wasn't the biggest fan of it. Let's talk about why. You got a bunch of just series one deluxe packs, which really didn't amount to anything. You sometimes got a Hall of Fame badge pack, but it was so hard to make MT by playing the game in season one. It was so difficult. Season two, it's going to be, in my opinion, quite a bit better. These are your base rewards at 15 wins. I don't love the rewards there. 60 wins, you do get 25,000 MT as well as a badge option pack, some other things. And at 120 wins, you get a diamond hidden gem pack, not much there. You do get a Hall of Fame badge pack, um, and uh, you do get a 20 box of the season one sewer packs as well as 50,000 MT. But the main thing here that 2K did introduce outside of those updates is this. If you win 100 or 250 showdown games, you get a legend badge award pack as well as a 95 plus hidden gem pack. That's the main thing that is new here. You get a free pink diamond. But 100 or 250 showdown games is a crazy amount of games. I know a lot of people are like hype about it, but I want you guys to calculate something in your mind. Let's say, and, and this is all going to be going down to is showdown worth grinding? And maybe for your weekly reward, it's worth it. And, and I'm not saying it's not because if you get to tier one, you get good weekly rewards. I think it could be worth it. But if you decide to grind, uh, if you decide to grind for that 250 wins, you're putting on average, uh, so, so let's say it, you, it takes you 30 minutes a game. So an hour to complete two games in 24 hours, 24 hours, you're going to get 48 games. In, okay. And so on average, it's going to take you over five days of playing this game to complete showdown. That's a lot. Of, and that's if you're winning every game. That's a lot of games. So for the average person, I could not sit up here and say grinding 250 showdown wins is number one, worth it, and number two, healthy. It's not either of those things. It's not worth it, and it's not healthy. However, if you do like playing showdowns, if you do want to be on leaderboards, if you do want to rank up towards tier one, it can be worth it. It can be because you get a free pink diamond, you get a legend pack, you get your weekly rewards. It could be worth it. I just have a hard time grinding that many games. I, I just do. I have a hard time grinding that many games. And and for me, I just, I can't sit up here in front of you guys and say it's worth it. In good conscience, I can't do that. Now, again, I do think Showdown could be worth it for your weekly rewards. I think last season, you had to win 20 games a week to get to those top rewards. To me, that's not bad. To me, if you grind 20 Showdown games a week, that's somewhat, eh, it's not nearly as unhealthy to do every week. And if you do that, you're going to put yourself in a solid position. That, in my opinion, is way more worth it than, uh, yeah, way more, I would say, okay than grinding the 250 wins. For myself, guys, I probably will this season grind 250 wins. Say whatever you want about me. I'm, I, I can take it. But I'll probably grind out the 250 showdown wins. If you do grind out the 250 showdown wins, you get rewarded. You do. I'm not saying it's worth it. I'm not saying anything like that. But if you grind out 250 showdown wins... Here's what your ultimate rewards are going to be. Along the way, you get a bunch of packs. Let's talk about it. Because you do. You get a bunch of prizes at 15 wins. You get all those bronze prizes, 5,000 MT, a bunch of other stuff. 60 wins, you get 25,000 MT, a bunch of other stuff. At 120 wins, you get 50,000 MT, a bunch of other stuff. And at 250 wins, you get a legend pack badge, which is super valuable. You put that on a player, it'll probably sell for a ridiculous amount. Hidden gems, 95 overall player. And from there, moving forward, all of those things together, I think can make Showdown worth it. Plus, you do get weekly rewards as well. So for everybody, including myself, that's like, Ty, it's so hard to be nobody spent and just grind the game. 2K finally gave us something to kind of offset people who want to open packs. Because I know that people have spent a ridiculous amount of money on packs and have really nothing to show for it because the pack odds are so bad. Meanwhile, if you do grind the game, you can get MT, you can get different badges, you can get different stuff. We'll talk about specifically a park video as well here in a second. Uh, that, there has, that's actually going to be another video on my channel. But with that being said, I think Showdown is, is, is in the middle. Is it worth grinding? Is it not worth grinding? To me, it depends on, on what you enjoy doing. 
I, is it more worth it than Domination? I mean, I'm pretty sure they probably offset each other. To me, at least, I don't think one's worth it over the other. I like grinding online more than offline, so I'll prioritize Showdown more than Domination. That's my opinion on things. However, I'm excited to get the new weekly rewards. They're updated, or they'll update, so I don't know what like the Tier 1 rewards are going to be at the time of this video. Heading into next week, I'll do my Showdown Tier 1 opening so you guys can see exactly who I do get. But I'm hoping that the rewards are better weekly. And I'm hoping that, again, if I do grind 250 wins, which is a lot of wins, I'll get a 90 overall hidden gem. Probably not going to pull nothing crazy. But a diamond hidden gem, pink diamond hidden gem, season one sewer pack, hall of fame badge option pack, a bunch of MT. Because after every game, you get some MT as well. So realistically, if you grind all 250 wins, you're probably going to be looking MT-wise, I don't know, nearly 500,000 MT, probably, by the end of it. You're going to add... A, a, a legend badge you're gonna add a pink diamond you're gonna add some hall of fame like it's not the worst situation i'm not sitting up here saying it's so worth it and the best thing in the game but i think you can make the case that it is somewhat worth it this season now again 250 wins is crazy to me if i'm average and i like playing showdown if you guys like playing showdown just get your weekly 20 wins get rewarded and maybe by the end of the season you'll get those 120 wins and, uh, and that 50,000 MT is so valuable. That's the one thing that I've complained so much on uh, on 2K is you get all these unsellables, but there's nothing behind it. You don't get any MT, you don't get anything else. It's nice to know if you do grind out 120 wins, you get a little extra MT along the way. It's not a ton of MT, but if you do grind that out, you're gonna get an extra, by the end of it, 80,000 MT for those 120 wins, which again, is not the worst situation. So for me, is it worth playing? Is it not worth playing? I think it's average. Like comparing that to Triple Threat Park to Domination, I think they're all like equal. I don't think there's one ahead of the other. The one thing I would be a little concerned about is if you don't love playing Showdown and you're not great at the game, it's not worth it, guys. It's not the most rewarding mode if you are average at the game. Now, if you can win a bunch of games in a row, get your tier, uh, get to tier one faster, you know, compared to other people, then I think it might possibly be worth it for you guys. But I wouldn't overdo it. Play the game ultimately to have fun with it. And as you do grind, uh, as you do grind the game, this season is going to be more rewarding than before so i'm hoping to see that these weekly showdown rewards get better and better i'm excited to uh, eventually give you guys the opening of my 250 win uh, showdown conquer which it's gonna be sickening how fast some people get this i'm just telling you right now some people are gonna get this so fast and it is gonna be absolutely sickening to me but it is what it is have fun playing the game at the core of it and for me 250 showdown wins it's a lot of wins for sure but at the end of it I hope it is worth it for me. To me, I'd rather grind this than gamble on packs and hope you pull something because that's probably not going to lead you to success. But I don't think winning 250 showdown games in 42 days is going to lead you to success either. That sounds really, really, really unhealthy. So let me know your thoughts on this down below in the comments. Drop a like on the video, guys. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.